the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. And, and you have this gift of specificity of the weird stuff like fucking Brian's coming <laughs> right like that all that stuff's so fun because yeah. that's how you and your friends talk and yeah. to have somebody articulate that that mysterious Isn't thing that, that happens great? between friends when we cool. walk into a human behavior that oh, makes yeah. people feel like <laughs> yeah. oh my well, that's God, the I fun of, a, of, of the craft right is like when sometimes you go up there and you throw out the random thing and you see it connect universally and you're like oh shit yeah. Like the, the, you see that moment happen yeah. and then you run with it and it builds and you're like, oh, this is why we do this. And this how is the fun. What is your, is that, what's your, um, how do you amp up to a joke? Do you, are, do you write on stage? Like I write yeah. on stage. On stage. Yeah. I can't write. I, I fucking, <laughs> I, I make, I get mad at myself. I read yeah. my fucking Gallman tips and I'm like, God <laughs> damn it. But the truth is, like, I, I'd be lying if I said, I mean, I write on stage. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's the, like, fifth or sixth hour now and I'm like it's on stage is what happens yeah well I was gonna ask you so vicious circle that was improv right for the most part or I heard a rumor rough around the edges was uh, so vicious circle was the HBO special and I really felt like I was you know well rehearsed for that that was like two years leading up to it when I did rough around the edges I was doing Madison Square Garden I booked a movie with Steve Carell who sweats a lot I love really <laughs> he's the he's the sweatiest person ever between takes they would need a chamois attack him online let him know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's probably the sweetest i love him but sweaty yeah. um and so i ended up doing this film and i couldn't practice for you know a few months while we were doing the movie so i was out of oh. practice and then my manager is like well we can't you know we can't uh move madison square garden are you, are you gonna do the show i said i'll do it and uh i go i just need to do it one set just to work everything out and I went up to the Providence Comedy Connection and I practiced and it was really rough. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, okay, this is kind of funny but not for 20,000 people. How, how far ahead of the show was this, the Providence show? Uh, the Providence show was the Thursday before the Saturday that I did the- <laughs> oh What? Uh, yeah, so I hadn't performed in three months. What? So what did I do? I was like, I said to my manager, I go, get some cameras. I said, I'll, I'll pay for wh- whatever it is. He goes, we can't do a full production. I said, just get me a few cameras or whatever you can do. You know, I don't care if it's college kids, give it somebody the gig. And he's like, why do you want to film it? I go, because this is going to be a legendary bomb oh. or I'm going to, I'm, I'm a pressure Knock player. The park, yeah. I'm going to like, it's going to work and something is magical is going to happen. And the thing about that set was it was, it was 50% improvised. What I basically did You're out insane. of fear, trust me, it was all fear based initially. If a bit was working, I just went with it longer because I was oh trying God. to fill I have the time. diarrhea just hearing yeah, you talk I do about too. it. My stomach's like, my stomach right hurts. Now. Yeah. Because it's a special and there's 20,000 yeah, people. Why not, why not um, oh go like, oh, I'm let's sweating. just shoot this somewhere else? I'm like sweating. in another two months. Because I couldn't cancel Madison Square Garden. Right. Yeah, they yeah. would have been upset if I said two days before, eh, I'm not quite ready. Um, and I just wanted to film it to, you know, have it. I and what really, did you think when you actually watched the cut? Like the first cut, are you like, it's ready? I, I said to myself, God, I wish I lost some weight and had hair and makeup. Always. I, I didn't do anything. It's it's like, I look at it now, I'm like, okay, this was not my best look. Uh, no lighting, nothing vanity wise was, it was just to film the show, to film whatever the fuck was about to happen to me. Um, You're crazy. You did, yeah. It was crazy. You improvised? Yeah. Yeah, 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 a lot of it. And, and bi- some of the favorite bits from that people come to me and say, oh, that's my, yeah, I love this thing from Rough Around the Edges. And, and you're I like, go, I did that that night. I riffed it that night. Oh my yeah. gosh. But I, it's it's still actually a lot of, my method with stand-up is to to write on stage, mm-hmm. and then once I feel like uh, I, I have a pretty good stronghold mm-hmm. on it, then the way I visualize comedy for me is I've got four corners, four quadrants. And I know this is funny, I know this is funny, this and this. Mm. But I wanna be in the middle. I wanna be able to sometimes come out of, you know, the formulaic, mm-hmm. which gets mm-hmm. boring. I get bored yeah, doing sure. it like that. And and play in the middle. And then if it starts to, then I can jump up to this corner. And then come back in the middle. And I know where I wanna end it, but it gives me freedom to to be able to yeah. be, be present. I just wanna be as, pre- I still just yearn for being in that moment. Present, yeah. always, always. And yeah. not leaving my mind to wonder what something else, what somebody's thinking of me. It's like, that's, I'm so determined to 
to get to that place where it's just it's more zen you know what i mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so well you mentioned the haters early on yeah where are they now ah! <laughs> They're not here. They're not invited. What if you just brought a thousand people <laughs> and you're like, they're all here. Invited people <laughs> who hate your guts. Come on in. <laughs> I've, that's the funny thing. I, I, I never meet them. You Isn't that I'd funny? Like to, I'd like to meet them. It's I, kind of a, but like it's a, it's, it's like a, a, a mirror of like you're an example of like what that reality of the, the online big mouth. And you're like, you're sitting here, a famous guy. You've heard all this shit. And you're like, yeah, never meet him. And then anybody can also log on, see crazy shit written, and yeah. then you're like, you never see those people. Or sometimes people will write something, every once in a while something hits my eye line, and I'm like, I'm gonna say something, and I'll DM a person. Then suddenly they're like, actually, you know what, I thought about it, and I'm totally wrong, like, and they'll uh. they'll backtrack on it after they've said something so entirely. Do you know what someone just did? I, I don't normally respond to those things. Somebody sent me a screen grab where they contacted a famous person, I don't even want to give credit to it, and said like, Tom Segura hates your guts. I heard about that. And then they sent me the screen grab and I go, why would you tell them that? Oh. And and he goes, didn't you? And I go, no. And he goes, oh, I'll, I'll let him know. I was oh like, oh, God, thanks. I'm so dumb. So he's like, he uh. contacted someone to tell him that I don't like him. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? But the, the point, it's I like just a famous wanna, actor, you know? I was like, why would you tell him that? silly. But I, I wanted Rabble to, rousers. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're shit mixers. I wanted to ask you, because I mean, on the one hand, you're this adored, huge, you're, you're at the height of your fame, you're at the height of everything, and then to also have that other wave of just fucking hate. Or like, how do you even cope with that? It was that? bananas. It was bananas, but it was also like, I... I think I had um, I understood what a like the the long term career looked like because I because I'd become a reader I'd read biographies autobiographies and more people's lives especially people that we all know that were like they, Marlon Brando must have just been happy every day doing what yeah. he loves and I was like oh wow okay at some point the wave breaks and then um, people like that because that's entertaining to watch mm, somebody. Yeah crash and burn especially if they like when someone rise. climbs out of the crash and burn yeah after the car mm-hmm. crashes and burns we like when the guy gets out now he's good okay yeah, good yeah, yeah. but i kind of like when he flipped 44 times and <laughs> sure. broke many many bones in his <laughs> sure. body i kind of like that yeah. as well yeah. and i knew people were enjoying watching me flip and burn and but they were enjoying i kind of f- just played into that too I, I became i was like all right they were enjoying you flip and burn <sighs> more because you ascended so high Right, because like sure. you know, oh, if, yeah. if you were like uh, mm-hmm. he he sold out a club one time, no one's gonna be like fuck that right. guy. They're like this guy's had a yeah. fucking run, man. Oh, because it was it was to a point I think where um, it was a bit of overexposure as well, and so people just you know they see something a lot, a lot, a lot, and then it's I think just a natural tendency. And I'd be a hypocrite if I said I didn't do it. I've 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 done that about stuff. Where I'm like another. Right. Oh my god, why do we need? But Jesus Christ, this person, Kevin yeah, Hart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It kind of just went with it, you know? Now I have diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Julia. Did you like that highlight? Why not watch a whole episode or look at other highlights here? Or you can subscribe right here so you know when that. You dumb broad. What? What's... I did that right. I know I did. Did I do that right?